Final day. Breakfast in this delightful hotel. First class. Nothing like a good healthy breakfast to start the day. Fortify the body, invigorate the soul. And here, to say this is a relatively small hotel, plenty of choice. Sure, the bacon was missing, but I did say healthy. Juice and yogurt, local fare, hot choices, and a happy welcome. So off we go. Our flight is 3 p.m., meaning we need to arrive at the airport at 1 o'clock. The plan is therefore simple and effective. Leave the hotel and head to the Rinku Premium Outlets, which is close to the airport and which has cheap storage for the luggage so we can take a look around and do shopping and some commercial exploration. We actually catch the airport train and get out one stop before. Quickly put the luggage in the locker and off we go again. Just a short walk away, the Rinku Premium Outlets. Both Stephen and Rebecca have been here before, and as it's quite close to the airport, we thought we'd visit on the way, so we don't need to return to the hotel. Coffee time. A chat with the baristas. A welcome drink. Then a look around. Kua Aina is a well-known Hawaiian hamburger place. I've eaten many times in the original one in Haleiwa, but being in Japan, we decided on local fare. I've also eaten in Kua Aina in Yokohama. It's popular in Japan. There's one in London too, and the avocado burger is a favorite of mine. As usual, have a chat with the people. In this case, sharing my channel. And then having lunch. It was a kind of fusion place. So we ordered a nice variety. Very tasty. Quick photo. Then off to the airport. I wish we'd had time to take the Ferris wheel, especially on a day like this. There must have been fantastic views. Checked in, right out to the plane. And in no time, we're back off to Hong Kong.
It's been a great trip.